Welcome to this Flash tutorial. Return to next frame from video movie clip. Starting a new FLA. I'm keeping Action Script 3. And uh, this was a request that a person would like to have. Uh, they have a movie clip. And, uh, and uh, after that movie clip is over, they jump back to the main scene on the next frame. So I have this new FLA opened. I'm on scene one. I'm calling this layer my video. V-I-D-E-O. And to do this uh, tutorial, you need to have a, a, um, a video file that is flash compatible. And when I get to, the, to that part, I'll show you what I mean. Open the library. Come down here. Click new symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected and call this video V I D E O shift underscore M C. That's the name of it. And now we're inside of that video. Call this line the video V I D E O. Now come up to file, import, import video. Click that. Make sure you have on the computer selected. This is the kind of file you need. You need to have a FLV file. So if you have something like a, a, a MP4 or, or, or a Windows Media file, you have to get a converter and convert it. This person already has their FLV file. Click Browse and we'll find it on my computer. There it is there, FLV. Next. Clicks OK. Make sure these are clicked. OK. OK. And there's my video. And if I hit my test button, my video runs. When your video runs in this format, you're not hearing it. But there is sound. So I'm just going to hit it again and should stop it. Um, go back to the very beginning here. That looks good. Go back to scene one. Insert another layer. So click there come down insert a layer and let's call this the action script as click here again insert a layer let's call this a button we're going to have a button to push b u t t o m so let's deal with the button layer first select that first frame of the button layer here come over here pick up your rectangle or your oval tool just something to make a button with i'm going to hold my shift down and make a square Pick up my selection tool, highlight that, modify, convert it to a symbol, make sure button is selected here this time, button, and I'm going to call this play, P-L-A-Y, capital P, underscore B-T-N, copy that, right click, copy it, close this, open the properties panel, there's my button, play, and paste that in for an instance name. Now that we have a button, now that we have a button, let's write some code for it. Make sure all my layers are locked. Select this actions first frame, open the actions panel, and type, 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 type this code. Play underscore BTN, that's that button we just made, period. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, that all turns blue. Open bracket, mouse event, capital M, capital E, that turns blue, period. Click. All uppercase capitals, C-L-I-C-K, that's blue, comma, and I'm calling this function play, close bracket, semicolon, function, purple, there's play, that's the function name, open bracket, event, E-V-E-N-T, small e, turns blue, there's a colon, mouse event, you can copy this mouse event and paste it in, capital M, capital E, close bracket, colon, void. There's the open curly bracket for the function, and there's a closed curly bracket for the function. Now, I had a trace here just to check it out. So let's go do that first. And have trace, turns blue, open bracket, quotation, play, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. So now let's click the main timeline. Let's just see if what happens here. Tests. I have no faults. When I click this, play, play, play every time I click it. So I know my button is working. 
So let's go back to that action code. And let's put two forward slashes here. And now we're going to have a video, a movie clip. So we have a movie clip called video, V-I-D-E-O underscore M-C, period. Go to and play, small g, small t, capital A, capital P. That will turn blue if it's spelt right. Open bracket two, close bracket semicolon. So now let's go into that movie clip. Come open the library. We made the movie clip. There it is, double click. It's a really long movie clip. Here it is. I want to click here and just move one, one bracket. Just click and drag it over one. Lock in that layer, inserting a layer, calling this action script AS and select frame one open the actions panel and write stop s t o p open close bracket semicolon and let's test this out i have an error undefined property mc so i'm here talking about a movie clip no it's here back on scene one let's look at that error for a minute on the frame one of scene one, yep, that's it. Go back to scene one, and if I look at that, here's we're talking about a movie clip, so copy that. Right click, copy it. Open the properties panel. Ah, we don't have the movie clip here, that's the problem. So click that movie clip frame right there, unlock it, first frame, open the library, drag this movie clip and put it right there. Open the properties panel and if you still have that copied, paste it in. Otherwise, type in video underscore MC. So now let's see what happens. Test movie test. No errors. When I press this, the movie will start. This is what you look like when you don't okay, so that's working. So let's go back to that movie clip for a minute. And if we just let it go as it is, it would run all the way up to the end. In my case, it's a very long one here. And it would just start over again. But, but we want to have something take place. So here, right click, uh, convert to blank keyframe, that last frame. Open the actions panel and write this in, G-O-T-O. Go to capital A N D stop S capital S T O P open bracket one close bracket semicolon. So therefore when it gets there it's gonna go back to frame one and stop. Okay, you got that. Action panel still open. Open that action panel. We just put the stop. Get go to the very beginning. Put a couple enters, arrows up, and type this code. Type, 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 type. This gets us back to the main scene, scene one, the main timeline. Movie clip, capital M, capital C, turns blue. Open bracket, parent, P-A-R-E-N-T, close bracket, period. Go to and stop, small g, small t, capital A, capital S, all turns blue. Open bracket two, close bracket, semicolon. So when we get to the end of this line here, it's going to do two things. It's going to come back here and stop so the video is over. And also it's going to bring us back to frame two. I'm on scene one now. Frame two. So let's lock all the layers. Select the video layer. Insert a layer. And call this frame two. FRM2 frame two. Select frame two. Right click. Insert a blank keyframe. There it is. Pick up a text box, text box, make a text box, open the properties panel. I have make sure classic is selected, make sure static text is selected. I have time new, new Romans, you can have any font you want. I've got a 50 points, make sure it's embedded, click embed. And you want upper, lower, numerals, punctuations, okay. And that's good. And in here put two, as in frame two. So I'm just going to click, whoops, 
pick up my selection tool that I lost. In here, we're going to put a frame number two. So when we're on frame one, we see nothing. When we're on frame two, we see that. Let's test this, see if it works. Control, test, movie, test. Now, this is doing that because I'm not stopping somewhere. I think it may be here. Yep, go at the very beginning there. A couple of enters, a couple arrows up, S, T, O, P, open, close, brackets, semicolon. Now, we should have business. Test movie, test. Everything's locked in. This Go, is my video. Like when you don't smoke. But if you do start smoking, look this is happen. this is long. I just didn't want to bother this cutting is it short. This what it looks like when you do smoke. This is the only uh, FLV file that I have. That's why I have to use this FLV file. We're almost close to the end. When we do, we we'll jump to frame two on scene one. Hope you learned something from this little tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.